Take a look at this thing. This is a nuclear radiation detector, aka a Geiger counter, and I used it to try and find the most radioactive place in the US. I took it near Three Mile Island, the site of America's worst nuclear disaster, and nothing. I took it to Los Alamos and found the actual deposits where they stored the radioactive materials from the Manhattan Project. There's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a spike. No major spikes there. Supposedly, the most contaminated place in the US is the Hanfer site, where they used to refine plutonium for the Manhattan Project. But the first time, unexpectedly, that this thing beeped for me was on a plane. And the reason is quite literally cosmic rays, because space is radioactive because of the sun and cosmic rays and x-rays coming from stars. Our atmosphere, ozone layer, generally protects us from those down here. The longest flight on Earth is 18 hours, and taking that flight is more or less the equivalent of half a chest x-ray in radiation. Now, the people who get the shortest end of this take is flight attendants, because they're actually classified as radiation-exposed workers. Of course, you can't cover a plane in lead to protect it from radiation, but airlines generally look after their workers, they monitor them carefully, and for example, when there's increased solar activity, the plane might take a flight at a lower altitude just to try and reduce the amount of exposure. Now, a flight crew can get up to five, maybe six millisieverts of radiation per year, which is still below the threshold for endangering, like increased risk of cancer, which is around 100 millisieverts. So I guess that's okay. 